Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to export and import OBS profiles and scenes. This will also include any settings that are in those profiles. Now you might wanna do this if you're gonna start working on a new computer and you wanna transfer everything over to the new computer so you can continue with all the settings and all the profiles and scenes that you've already been using. Or if the OBS on the computer you're currently working on is kind of having some issues and you uninstall, reinstall, you wanna make sure that everything goes back to how it was, this is gonna be beneficial for either of those two settings. So here we are in OBS. First, we're gonna export a profile. So we're gonna click on profile at the top. Make sure that you open up the profile that you wanna export. Here, I'm gonna use this one called PC Gaming. Once it's opened up and selected, you'll see a little checkbox next to it. Then we're gonna to go to export. And then from there, you're gonna choose a folder that you wanna save it to. Here, I'm gonna save it on this folder called Gaming. Select folder, and that's it. That's the export process. Now to verify that that profile was exported, we're gonna open up that folder. And here you'll see PC Gaming, a folder that was created inside the folder we selected. So in the gaming folder, OBS created this folder here. And if you open this up, you'll see some data files in there. We're gonna back out. And now we're gonna go back to OBS and export a scene collection. Same thing, click at the top under scene collection now. And then from here, you're gonna open up the scene collection that you wanna export. Make sure that it has a checkbox next to it to make sure that it is opened up. Then we're gonna go to export, choose a folder to save it to, and then click save. Now, if we go to locate the file, it's actually a single individual file right here, pcgaming.json. That is separate from the PC gaming folder that was created. So the folder is a profile. When you export a scene collection, it's only a single individual file. So here we are in OBS Studio on another computer. We do not have the profile or the scene collection that we exported on the previous computer, so we're gonna import them here. Now, if you've copied your exported files onto a flash drive to transfer them to a new computer, you're gonna wanna paste those into a folder that's permanently on your computer. I've already done that process, so we're gonna go on from there. Click on Profile to import a profile. Click on the button that says Import. Locate that exported profile folder, and then select Folder. So now it's been imported, but at the top, it has not changed automatically. So the profile is here. As you can see, it says PC Gaming on the dropdown list, but it doesn't automatically open that profile. So you're gonna have to load that up. So if you wanna open up that profile, go ahead and select it, and there it is. Now we're gonna import the scene collection. Go ahead and click on scene collection. Then you might get a pop-up that says, OBS can automatically find importable scene collections from supported third-party programs. Would you like OBS to automatically find collections for you? Here you can click on yes or no. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna click on no. And then here it's gonna have you add files to this window to import collections from OBS or other supported programs. We're gonna click on add. Look for the .json file that was exported. Select that and open. Now by default, it will checkbox any of the added scene collections. Make sure that the checkbox is on, then click on import. And now, if you go to Scene Collection, you'll see it in the list. Again, it's not gonna automatically import that Scene Collection. You have to click on Scene Collection and then click on the name. Now, when it comes to exporting the settings, that goes with your profile. So whenever you export and import a profile, those settings move with it as well. Now, if you have any overlays like I do here, I have two overlays. I have this one here, and then I have this one here. If you're on a new computer, it's not gonna find those automatically. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you copy and paste any of those files, any of those PNG or files that you're using as overlays or displays onto your new computer, and then you'll need to tell OBS where those files are. So let me give you a quick demonstration on that process. We're gonna close OBS real quick. Now I've opened up OBS with those PNG files that are overlaid, not in the original location, which if you're transferring to a new computer, it's probably gonna be a different drive or a different folder. All you have to do is make sure that those files are somewhere on your computer and then you're gonna search directory. Then you're gonna choose the folder that they're located in and then click select folder. And then you'll see that the state has changed to found. On the right, if all images or files are on the same folder, then it'll find them all automatically. If they're in different locations, then you're gonna have to search the directory again to find the other files. For me, both of them are on the same location. I'm gonna click apply and there you go. Now I have the same exact overlays on the new computer. So there you guys have it. That's how you export and import profile scenes and settings in OBS Studio. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.